Today I'm going to be doing a review on Bratz 20 Years Chloe. I also have the first edition Chloe right here. And I'll do um, a comparison at the end of the video. Here's Chloe in her box. It says Chloe with her icon, which is an angel with a halo. And then the free Bratz poster inside. It says Bratz 20 Years. On the back of her box, it says Bratz. Create over 20 different funky fashion styles. Funky fashion. And those are some of the looks you can recreate for Chloe. It says, Chloe, hi, my name is Chloe, and I rock. My fashion passion is exotic animal prints and sparkly fabrics. My friends call me Angel because that's what I am. And it says, I come with a hairbrush, two pairs of snap-on shoes, Bratz pack backpack, hair accessory, two fashion tops, and two fashion bottoms. I think it's so dumb that her second outfit has no top. I never liked that. I mean, she does have a jacket, but I don't know. It's like, you can't really make another outfit. Um, anyway. And then there's the core four girls on the bottom. This is Bratz 20 Years and Meet the Bratz. And there's the Bratz website on the bottom. You can't really see it, but it's there. It says www.bratz.com. Now I'm going to unbox Chloe and I'll come back when she's out of the box. I'm back and Chloe's out of the box. Here are the two dolls side by side. Here's what she comes with. We'll take a better look at it when she's wearing it. So Chloe has like orange and blue and a lighter blue eyeshadow with dark brown eyes. I mean, <laughs> like black eyebrows, I mean. And here, this, this one has the same makeup, but um, I don't really know like how to explain it, but her makeup is, her eyes and makeup in general are just more shiny and hers are more matte. And her eyebrows are placed up higher and hers are a little bit lower and they're brown. And if you can see like, um, under her eyebrow, she has like a light pink eyeshadow, and this one doesn't have it. I don't know if that's like a defect or not, or if it's just really faint, but she doesn't have it. They both have an angel t-shirt. Oops, I don't know what just happened to the camera. But <laughs> they both have an angel t-shirt with um silver studs. The this the one on this the original doll's shirt is a little bit thicker than this one. But besides that, it's basically the same thing. And then their belts. Hers is a more of a like sky blue with a silver buckle. Oh no, they're the same. I thought hers was a little bit more teal, but nope. And then their bags. Their bags are really different. So like the material just feels a little bit different on the cow print. You can probably visibly tell that it looks different as well. Her bag is just a lot more vibrant in color while hers is a lot more muted. I kind of do prefer the newer bag though. I think it looks cuter. And their jeans. Their jeans are pretty much the same thing. Um, it just feels a little bit different, but besides that, it's the same thing. And their shoes, let me just, cause you can't really see it. Okay. Her shoes are just um, a platform heel, very early 2000s and late 90s, and they're blue. Um, it's basically the same thing. The reproduction, I mean, the original dolls is just probably a little bit more lighter, but that's it. But the big difference, like, between these two um, under shoes, a biggest indicator to tell whether or not if your Bratz first edition doll is a first edition or not, whether it's the 2005 reproduction or the 2022 reproduction is the bottom of the shoes. The reproductions will have holes in the bottom and the original ones will not. This is because um, MGA started... Um, whenever Formal Funk came out, they came with the playset. I don't know what it's called. But it came with Navra, and in that playset, you could um, attach their shoes to like a little like nubs like on the playset. That's my cat. <laughs> so you know they could be on the runway. So that's why. Um, every single doll after 2003 started having holes punched in their shoes and obviously the 2005 reproductions were made in 2005 so they had the holes so yeah that's what you can tell before we get into putting Chloe in her second outfit I want to show you guys their hair so this is the reproduction and this is the original as you can probably visibly see the um, reproduction hair is a lot more voluptuous and lighter than the original. That's because um, the reproduction uses nylon hair, 
while the original uses Saran. There is versions of the 2022 reproduction that have Saran. I actually have one. I'll show you guys right now. So this is another reproduction, Chloe. She has Saran hair, like the first one. While the newer batches of the reproductions have nylon, which is on the middle. And yeah, I honestly don't really prefer any of them. The original doll's hair is very thin because in the early days of Bratz, they just weren't rooted with a lot of hair. Um, so that's why the 2022 one and the 20, 2001 one, I mean 2021 doll and the, two, and the 2001 doll might look different. It's because her hair is just thinner and the um, colors are a little bit different. But yeah, those are differences. I have Chloe in her second outfit, but before we get into that, I forgot to specify that my original Chloe is actually my reproduction headband because mine's crumbled off because of the pleather material because that material over time does flake off sadly. But yeah, they're the same headband. Um, so sorry if I forgot to mention that, but it didn't really matter anyways because it's the same. Um, so yeah, these are the girls in the second outfit. Um, it's the same shirt, as I said earlier. That's why I said she doesn't really have a complete, full, like, original second outfit due to the shirt. But I will say, despite that, that Chloe probably does have the best second outfit from all the first edition dolls. It's just very cohesive and very pretty. Um, you can't really say the same about the other three, sadly. But yeah, here's the jackets. The jacket is, like, a faux denim material. Um, I noticed that the reproduction that's a little bit longer, but on the original it's thicker, especially on the top. And this, like, white stitching isn't really prevalent over here. But, yeah. Besides that, it's the same jacket, though. Um, the shirts are the same, as I said earlier. And the skirts are, like, the biggest difference, in my opinion. Like, um, the newer skirt is just a little bit more tighter to the skin. While hers flares out a little bit. And the materials are a little bit different. This one's, um, the old one's a lot more just darker. And this one's a lot more vibrant. And it's a little bit more softer, too, in the older one. And the shoes are pretty much the same. I would just say that the older one, the brown is just a little bit lighter. Um, but that's it. Besides that, it's, it's the same outfit and it's really cute. I forgot to mention this, but the reproduction Chloe with the saran hair actually has a different face than this one, as you can see. I don't know how to explain it, but the newest batches of these reproduction Chloe's have um, smaller eyes, while these ones have eyes that are more faithful to the reproduction. Um, so yeah, I forgot to, I'm just adding this in now because I forgot to point that out, but yeah. And there's also, um, another reproduction Chloe with a different face with the droopy eyes <laughs> that a lot of people complained about. So that's why this one exists. This is supposed to be the fixed screening. Um, I'll, if I can figure out how to implement a photo, I will so you guys can see the three different faces of the reproduction Chloe's. But to my knowledge, there's three and these are two of them. I forgot to mention that the new doll does also come with the brush. The brush is the same mold, but the older one is just a darker purple. Well, this one is lighter, but besides that, it's the same thing, and it's really cute. All the reproduction Bratz first edition dolls also come with this poster. It's the same thing as the 2001 one, but instead of being like a normal blue in the back, it's holographic. I sadly don't have the original poster, so I can't compare it, but it's essentially the same thing. My final thoughts on this doll is that she's a pretty faithful reproduction. Like, yeah, there is some differences, but what do you expect? Like, this doll came out 20 years ago. That's a long time ago. So the fact that MGA was able to uh, resource a lot of very similar materials to make a reproduction is really cool, in my opinion. And I honestly recommend getting just the reproduction because this first edition dolls, um, they're not the best in terms of quality. Like, their head, the first edition, like, their head joint is very weird. And I've actually broke a few before um, because of that. It's just a very weird joint, and I don't like it. And also, they don't have a lot of hair either. They're kind of bald. Um, and sometimes they're missing pieces, too, because they're very old. And these first edition reproductions are pretty cheap right now on Amazon. So I just recommend getting the, for the new ones because they're nicer, in my opinion, um, when it comes to, like, the actual doll, I guess. I guess the clothes in the older one are a little bit better. But, yeah. That's my thoughts. Thank you guys all for watching. Bye. If you have passion, show it in your fashion. The girls with a passion for fashion. Bratz. Yasmin, Chloe, Sasha, Jade, Bratz. Each sold separately with two mix and match outfits.